Okay, folks. Starman81. I have the AstroTech AT102ED and also a C6 mounted on the Twilight 2 mount. And as you can see, the azimuth is very nice indoors at least. Um, slight touch here and there. And this is without any modifications at all. No grease, nothing applied to that azimuth bearing. Now, what had locked up on me in actual use was the altitude. So I'm going to give it a slight push with two fingers. Just show you an, az an azimuth how it travels. Then back the other way with the thumb. That's very nice. If it, if it will actually work like that, you know, in the outdoor conditions, then anybody would be very happy. Now let's give that same little two finger push in the altitude and nothing. Nothing really. Now it looks like I'm moving it around pretty easily, but I'm actually applying a lot of force. Um, it's not as bad as when it binded up on me uh, about a week ago in very cold temperatures. I did call ES about it, Explore Scientific, and they were very keen on me returning the mount. Um, the girl that I had spoke to had mentioned that there were a few that got out without being sp um, sprayed uh, with a certain type of, perhaps a silicone lubricant. And I said, is there anything I can do? Can I touch up any of these uh, grub screws, these Allen screws, or do something to it? And she was like, um, well, you can send it back to us and we can, you know, spray it. So she was very keen on me sending it back. It seems like that's the known issue. Uh, another thing to note is that I find this mount a lot better when there's a second scope to balance your first scope. So I have my 4-inch refractor on here, and if I took off the C6, it wouldn't move so nicely in azimuth as you're seeing here. So I'm going to try to pause the video, take off the C6, and show that comparison in this video as well. And voila, just like magic, the C6 is gone. I'm going to give it that same push. It doesn't quite move around as well. But remember, this is without any modifications, no grease or anything like that. So I'm giving it a nice two finger push. And it's not really bad, but when you're trying to make those fine uh, adjustments at high power, it's just not going to be as smooth. You want it to be super smooth with the large motion so that when you're at high power just a little nudge can do it. It's still not that bad, um, but when I put my Edge HD 8 inch SCT on here um, and try to move it, obviously it's heavier than this 4 inch refractor which is maybe by a couple pounds, it's probably 14 pounds and this is um, about 12 pounds. So you can see the azimuth doesn't work quite as well. Uh, altitude, it's the same whether you have two scopes or one. Azimuth is the only one affected uh, when you only have one scope. I think that's enough for our first video. I hope it was instructional.